Hey guys, Jancely and Mama here with my girl, Charlie Pearl. We are hanging out, eating some sweet potatoes. And Charlie, she just turned eight months yesterday. She is learning how to feed herself. And, oh, and I'm trying to teach her how to dip her spoon into her food. So here we go. Ready? Let's dip. Well, no, no, no. Don't get it anywhere. Dip. Okay. I'll get it out. No. Yeah, just like that. Do it again. Do it again. One, do it again. Okay, let's do it again. Dip. Boop. Take it out. Good. Good job taking it out. Very good. All right, let's dip. Let me dip again. You want to do it on your own? Go ahead. Dip it in there. Can you put the spoon in there? Put it in there. Come on, right in there. Go ahead. So she's got two teeth coming in. I just had to do some cleaning. Um, my face is all crazy. Uh, I came home to remnants of an exploded diaper. Okay. Um, yeah. So I had to kind of get that squared away um so for today's video what to do when your significant other is not as detail oriented as you and how do you handle that now men usually are not super detail oriented right i mean a lot of them are i will say there are some that are that are on their game but there are some others that it's like, did, did you not see the, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever. And they're like, what? What are you talking about? It's right here in plain view. So then you start wondering if they really need glasses or if they're just inattentive. And, you know, I think it's really important in these types of situations to... Remember that as long as the bigger things are being done, you know, like for me, um, I have very few complaints about, like ever, about what my husband does with, with our daughter when I'm at work and he's working and taking care of her simultaneously. I mean, does he do everything like I do? No. Is his attention kind of divided because he's also working? Yes. And I have to remember that, you know, he can't just not work. That's not an option. He has to do his job, but he also needs to take care of her. Um, and it really, it saves us thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, you know, it's fine. But do I occasionally come home to a few surprises? I do. And, uh... Is it the end of the world? No. Does my child have, um, was she in, endangered in some way? No. No. So, you know, that's the main thing. I mean, sometimes I find out certain things are happening or like, hey, you can't. I don't know, let her do this or be around this or whatever. And he, you know, he's better than, oops, better than most guys, I got to say, because when I tell, when I tell him something once, usually, like if it's really important and I just tell him once, he's like, okay. And he remembers and he uh, follows through with it later. Um, like he, he's pretty good about making sure baby's safe and whatever. And he's really good with diapers. He's really good. Um, he's been great with keeping the keeping her clean. And um, I mean, seldom have I come home and had to be like, hey, you left some poop on her. I think that's happened maybe twice in two months, two and a half months. I mean, that's a lot of months to to not screw up on diapers like that. And she's got a lot of rolls, okay? She she gets stuff in her rolls. I know, it's not, it's okay. You got the baby rolls. Well, anyway, 
So I guess my advice here, my unsolicited advice, if you really want it, who doesn't want my advice? I don't know. Um, is if you're dealing with, you know, my he doesn't do things the way I do or whatever. He's not gonna. He's not you. And he's not gonna play with her the same way. He's not gonna interact with her the same way. He's not, or him, you know, if you get a son. Uh, he's. They're not gonna be carbon copies of you because they are not you. And I always have to remind myself, he's not me. It's okay. He's not supposed to be me. And this baby is half him and half me. Period. You know, it's not, she's not all me. I couldn't make her on my own. You know, we're not, whatever those animals are. Snails. Sna oh, boy. We have, we started with two snails. Now we got like 40 of them. Snails are hermaphrodites. They are both uh, male and female. And good Lord, we don't even know. Anyway. Um, so just be patient, be patient with your people. Um, they're not you, but as long as your kid is fine and, and doing well and not hurt and, um, not starving for attention and all those kind of things, I think you can be okay. Just, just remember that, Hey, they're not me. They're not going to be me. And I can't expect them to be me. Um, so that is that and uh, I'm just gonna do a little short video because I apparently don't have a whole lot of time left I gotta clear out some stuff in my storage but I just want to pray so Charlie we're gonna pray so Lord we thank you for this day thank you God for all the moms out there watching this thank you God for our babies and that they are just so wonderful Thank you, God, that we are making our way um, on this journey as mothers, and everything's going to be okay. Give us peace. Give us joy. Help us to be the best moms we can be. And uh, give us grace, God, grace for the people, the people helping us, knowing that they're not us. That's okay. And uh, hope our babies to be awesome. We thank you for it, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.